Sessions with Eloquence on Slim Swayze Radio. This is your host, Eloquence. Welcome to Spontaneous Session number two. Just want to do a little overview of the next couple weeks in the United States. There's quite a few events going on for the end of May that I just wanted to cover real quick. Starting on May 18th and 19th, we got the group of eight. G8 is going to Camp David. The original plan was to have this meeting in Chicago. But in Chicago, on May 20th and May 21st, there's going to be a NATO summit going on. And they moved the G8 out of Chicago to Camp David. Now, for those of you who don't know what the G8 is, it started as G7, which is the group of seven. And that uh, was originated in 1985. And it's an international organization that facilitates, quote unquote, economic cooperation. The original members were the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Great Britain, Italy and Japan. And in 1998, they added Russia to make it the G8. And there's also what is known as the G20. That expanded the G8 in 99 to include also Argentina, Australia, Brazil, China, the United, I'm sorry, the European Union, India, Indonesia, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, and Turkey. So, nonetheless, we got an international meeting of the group of eight on May 18th and 19th with President Obama at Camp David. That's going to be going on in the next couple days. And that's going to be followed by the NATO summit in Chicago. Um... That's going to be May 20th and the 21st. There's a solar eclipse on uh, the 20th, I believe. It's going to be a, a solar eclipse during this event. And also another interesting note besides the solar eclipse for this NATO summit in Chicago is that the uh, zip code in Chicago is 60606. So we got a solar eclipse, we got 666, and we got the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which, a little history for those of you that don't know or don't know too much about NATO, uh, the treaty was signed on April 4th, 1949, another interesting date. Uh, Martin Luther King was killed in Memphis, Tennessee on April 4th, 1968. Just a little side note. I like to track dates and numbers. You got a lot of interesting stuff going on with that. But that's a whole nother episode. But just uh, a little brief synop- synopsis. Uh, 1949, Truman, President Harry Truman called for the Alliance of the North Atlantic. And uh, the set objectives of the original alliance or treaty was to contain the Soviet Union and to contain communism. Now, 
the original members of NATO included Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Great Britain, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, and the United States. Those were the original members. Now, the current members up to date also include and added in 1952 was Greece and Turkey in 1955 Germany and 82 Spain in 1999 they added the Czech Republic Hungary and Poland in 2004 was a huge year they added Bulgaria Estonia Latvia Lithuania Romania Slovakia and Slovenia and in 2009 Albania and Croatia were added. So, on May 20th and 21st in Chicago, the NATO summit will include a representative from Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Great Britain, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, the United States, Greece, Turkey, Germany, Spain, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Albania, and Croatia. As you can see, from 1999 to 2009, they practically doubled the size, and that's all recent. Um, so it looks like NATO in 2012 expands well beyond the North Atlantic. Um, and once again, just to remind everybody, this was a military alliance. And the original treaty said that an attack on any NATO country is an attack on all NATO countries. Of course, this has been expanded. Um, and just a little tidbit of information. And I believe it was in 85... It was when Reagan was president. Um, there was a, a bombing in Berlin at a discotheque and uh, Libya was blamed for this attack and NATO along with the United States coordinated by Reagan bombed Libya now we saw just what happened in March uh, a couple years ago when Obama and NATO bypassed Congress they went through the United Nations and NATO decided they didn't like Libya. They bombed them. They have direct democracy in Libya. Um, everybody in Libya has a home. There's no homeless people in Libya. None. No homelessness. Every person, individual, has a home. Every individual has a car. Uh, the Libyans built... Uh, a water system that they they turn the desert it's the biggest man-made canal system in the world and they turn the desert into crops into fields of food so that they could feed themselves apparently NATO doesn't like this uh, also they'd also set up where all gas and oil Libyan gas and oil sold all the profit was split within to all citizens every citizen of Libya receives dividends from the profit of Libyan oil NATO doesn't like that 